By some estimates, as much as 25,000 barrels of oil per day could now be leaking into the Gulf of Mexico. This after an oil rig toppled over after an explosion off the coast of Louisiana. A lot to take in. Good afternoon. I'm Sally Hernandez. And I'm Chris Willis. Thanks for being with us. This morning, a new fishing ban has been put into place. Oil continues to spread across the Gulf. And Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott just held a press conference about the spill about an hour ago. We have new details at noon with Mary Lee joining us live outside the AG's office. Hi, Mary. Hi, Chris. That's right. General Greg Abbott just wrapped up his press conference here. He spoke about the issue. We all want to know if our Texas coastline is in danger. He said that at this point it looks like it could be spared, but of course there's no guarantee. All of the forecasts show that there is no immediate or imminent threat to the Texas coastline, and there is even a possibility uh, that the Texas coastline will be spared altogether. I will warn, however, that it is impossible to say conclusively that the Texas coastline will be spared. Cleanup ships are hoping to get back into action after 30 mile an hour winds and high seas kept them at anchor in the Mississippi River over the weekend. But they won't have much company in the Gulf. The government has announced a 10 day commercial and sport fishing ban across a huge section of Gulf waters from Louisiana to parts of western Florida. We live in the greatest estuary in the world, and our estuary right now is in very, very grave danger of being, you know, possibly decimated. Fishermen, their livelihood now threatened by the oil, found a sympathetic ear from President Obama, who visited the region on Sunday. We got uh, a bunch of different tasks. The most important one is how do we plug this hole. The president also met with Coast Guard officials and he defended the government's response to the disaster. I want to emphasize from day one we have prepared and planned for the worst even as we hoped for the best. Analysts estimate the bill for the oil disaster could exceed $14 billion and for its part, BP, owner of the destroyed oil platform, says it too is doing all it can, but saying a solution is still weeks away and blaming equipment failure for the runaway leak. This as oil creeps even closer to the coast. You know, it's very emotional for us. This is, you know, could be, you know, the biggest tragedy for this area. You know, I mean, oil could just obviously demo our coastline. And back out here live, Attorney General Abbott said it could take months to know for sure if the Texas coastline has been spared. In downtown Austin, Mary Lee, KXAN, Austin News.